What's up YouTube? Hey, I am taking a moment to make a quick video here. But first I want to wish you a happy new year. Hope the 2018 proves to be great for you. Uh, we had a lot of fun in 2017. And yeah, hopefully 2018 just makes the journey even better. Uh, so I want to take a quick moment just to I'm going to share a picture with you of the precise location to drill if you are interested in doing the PTU drill and tap. Uh, a lot of people keep asking about it and so I just figured I'd make a quick video. Um, now the the one thing about that, what I seem to notice when I was drilling mine out is there's when you go to actually drill Granted, the angle can change of where you're drilling, so you got to be careful with that. I was just trying to drill straight up and down. Um, but the one thing I would say is where I found the dr best spot to drill, when I looked at what the actual measurements were with the plus or minus of where you can drill, and this is from somebody who actually tore the PTU up apart and looked at like where that lined up with the bearings inside. Um, the photo they, they created, I don't even know if they can, they're still making uh Ford edge material or not. Um, the photo they had, I've held on to. And so, um, I'm going to share that photo with you guys. Uh, it'll kind of give you a, it'll give you like the precise location where the best spot is. But what I came to notice when I went to go drill mine, my PTU, that drill and tap, it actually landed it was pretty much the only spot, then since I didn't take the exhaust off, it was basically the only spot I could drill. And so, um, and have a straight up and down angle. So it actually works out pretty handy. And it's easiest when it comes to take the heat shield off and all that stuff and doing the actual drain. Because it's really the only spot you can drill from underneath. Um, it's... And it makes it the easiest for extraction of that uh, drain plug you're putting in and really makes the whole process a whole lot uh, more smooth. So without further ado, here I'll show you, uh, share this photo with you guys. So I will add one disclaimer. You have to weigh the risk to reward factor in drilling and tapping this PTU. Um, it's really slick, I'll admit, once you finish this job, it's really slick for removing the fluid. I just wish they would have put a drain plug in the PTU to begin with. Obviously that didn't happen. So if you choose to do this, just be careful anytime you go to tighten or um, tighten down your, your drain plug into your PTU. Um, just be really careful. Hopefully you have a little bit of confidence in undertaking this job that you know, I mean, you have a little ma a minor bit of mechanical background. I mean, really, in concept, it's really easy. It's just really intimidating when you're thinking, oh, this is a $900 part I'm drilling into. Or depending on where you're getting it, it might be upwards of 1000 So, yeah. I mean, I, those thoughts were going through my mind when I was drilling into that. But now that the, the job's done is really slick for moving the gear fluid so yeah just keep that in mind when it comes to performing this task so i just want to uh thank you for clicking on my video hopefully if you're watching this you've already watched like the ptu drill and tap and you know things to know about uh a ford edge before you buy i'll link those um i'll link to those videos at the end of this so yeah hopefully that this information proves helpful for you guys. Please like and subscribe if you're not already subscribed and wanting to do this, uh, this procedure yourself. All right. Have a good one, guys. Thanks for tuning in.